May 22nd for Deanna Frazier, Kentucky State Representative, wife, mother, and small business owner. Vote Deanna Frazier this May 22nd, Kentucky State Representative. From the studios of WBONTV.com, I'm Marissa Hempel and this is your Monday afternoon news brief. A Clark County emergency management employee was behind bars for theft charges after she allegedly wrote nearly 30 fraudulent checks and then put them in her personal bank account. According to the Sheriff's Office, they began an investigation on Jennifer Adkins in late 2016 when checks were allegedly being deposited in the wrong account. Out of the 29 checks, it seems that 17 of them were, had forged signatures. The whopping sum of her $11,500, according to officials, included checks that were supposed to go into clients for the Chemical Stockpiles Emergency Preparedness Program. Atkins was allegedly seen on surveillance footage depositing the checks, which were all made payable to her. A woman was found dead in Pulaski County after an apparent house fire. Officials were called to the scene after 4 a.m. Saturday morning on Boat Dock Road. After the fire was doused, the body of 68-year-old Sharon Yance was found. Investigators are still unsure as to what caused the blaze, and an autopsy is scheduled for Yance. Police report that at the moment, no foul play is suspected as to the cause of the fire. Tomorrow is primary 2018, and in Madison County, voting should go smoother and faster thanks to a new electronic registration system. Madison County Clerk Kenny Barger says that instead of a group of unwieldy books, now each precinct will have iPads to streamline the check-in process. Polls open at 6 a.m. tomorrow and will close at 6 p.m., and those already in line will be able to vote. WBONTV and the Wallingford Broadcasting Stations will have full coverage of the election results starting at 6 p.m. And finally, tonight, make sure to check out the story of recovery here in Richmond after an Arabian three-year-old horse was on the verge of death after suffering an extreme facial wound. Solo, the horse was taken in by W&W Veterinarian Services in between Richmond and Waco. Dr. Kate Worley told WBONTV that many told her and her husband that the horse was beyond help, but he persevered after surgery and months of TLC. Solo is now sweet as can be and looking for a new home despite only missing an ear. Solo is up for adoption, and Dr. Worley says that applications can be filled out at 3001 Irvin in Richmond at their clinic. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.